Hey, this is Matt from Princess Coast of the Butterfly Museum, and you're watching Slasher Pepper. Hey guys, Slasher Pepper, and welcome to another interview. Today is with Matt from Princess Ghost to the Butterfly Museum. How are you doing? I'm great. Awesome. Yes. How about you? Doing wonderful. Glad to have you on the show. Great to be here. Awesome. And uh, my first question was, it's currently uh, the 13th of January. So what are your uh, resolutions for this year? Oh, man. Resolutions for the year. Oh, wow. That's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I guess to try to um, get out of New York City a bit more. Awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah, which is good because, you know, we actually <clears throat> have some touring that's, you know, going to be happening later this year with Princess. And um, so that's actually very exciting. I'm looking awesome. forward to all that. Is yeah. it a U.S. tour? We have some U.S. stuff, and then we're also going to go back to Europe and um, make up those shows that we couldn't do over there. Awesome. Yeah, I was uh, going to see you guys in Germany. What's that? I was going <laughs> to see you guys in Germany. Uh, I'm from Holland, so I had to travel a bit, but uh, I was mm. going to... I'm not sure when, but obviously, unfortunately, it was canceled. Yeah, yeah, we were, we were bummed about that. But um, yeah, we're going to come back. We're going to do it. Awesome. So definitely see you there. Yes, for sure. You bet. Um, and uh, well, I've seen some clips from the shows, obviously, and there are quite a few songs that I absolutely love, but are not uh, recorded in the studio yet or not released yet. So um, can you tell us more about a potential uh, new album? Yeah, it's funny you say that because we actually have a whole new album that's recorded and I think it's ready, actually. I think it's been mixed, mastered, and now it's just a matter of um, when, you know? Right. What songs were you thinking of? Anything in particular? Um, I can't remember all the titles. Um, well, but I, yeah, I can't remember the titles of those um, because obviously it was all just recorded with iPhone, you know? So <laughs> I would love yeah. to uh, hear a good studio version of that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think that everything we played um, live is all recorded. It's just not released yet. Right. It all awesome. exists. Very yeah. exciting then. And uh, yeah. then to go back to thanks so much for coming. Um, how was it recording that album? Like how is it going between the chemistry between you guys in the studio? Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's a great chemistry. It's a great chemistry. And um we're lucky in that we have a studio space that's ours. So we don't have to worry about like um, getting out at a certain time or coming right. in and getting out. So we do all the basic stuff there. Um, or a lot of the stuff, you know, like it's, um, it's just a little studio in Union Square, which is a neighborhood in Manhattan. And um, we've got drums, we've got a bunch of keyboards, bass guitars, acoustics. So we can just do whatever we need there. And then I can come back home and do stuff in my basement if need be. Right. You know, extra stuff. Yeah. So that's really helpful. Like, because when you're recording an album and you're being charged by the hour, you feel pretty crazy, you know? Right. Sometimes. Yeah. And you're like, we got to get in, we got to get out and just do it. So, yeah, we had some freedom there, you know? Yeah, I bet. Um, yeah. And what about the music videos? Which one? that you guys recorded, would you say is your favorite? Um, I love all of them. They're all special to me, I think. But um, I like Nevertheless, personally. I like Nevertheless. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, it's very different from all the other ones. It's, oh, yeah, um, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And I have to shout out our friend Dylan, Dylan Greenberg, who um, directed it and sort of put it all together. Amazing. It's awesome. Um, how about how about you? Do you have a preference? I love that the... one because it's just super trippy, <laughs> like yeah. with the TV and stuff. Um, <laughs> totally. I also like uh, Eat on a Razor. Um, yeah, that's pretty trippy too, actually. Yeah, that's pretty... it's kind of the same style, but Cruel World, and it, it's very nice in terms of the location you guys chose for that one. Oh, beautiful! Love right. that location. 
Yeah. And I love the, especially the beginning with the drums and the arms popping out of the trees, you know? <laughs> so that was funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was cool. Tomorrow's that Screams, actually, I also uh, love. Tomorrow's Screams. Yeah. Yeah. That was another, that was another gorgeous one in um, Massachusetts. Yeah. Um, I was going to say the cruel world was, was in New York near kind of the Woodstock area of, um, if you go upstate New York, it's really beautiful up there. Mountains, trees. Yeah. Know. It looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. Sometimes you'll see Michael C. Hall or, or me just wandering. <laughs> Some days, you know, <laughs> right. Peter too. He's just yeah, kind of up. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> If you're lucky, it's kind of yeah. like Bigfoot, you know? Yeah, a sighting. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and what are some of your own favorite musicians? Oh, man. There's, um, it's hard to say because there's always so many, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of musicians that I admire. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm always discovering new musicians every day. Um, I was sort of on a craft work kick over the summer, you know, speaking of, of Germany, craft work, Einstrasende Neubauten, um, you know, just in terms of industrial plays a factor, you know, that, that whole smashing things against walls, not literally, but maybe the sound of that. Right. You know, um, yeah, so definitely that, um, you know, Nine Inch Nails is huge for us. Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot there's a lot of stuff that we love. I mean, we love new we love newer newer music too. I feel like um, I love the band Idols. We just saw them. They were oh right, yeah, yeah. They were on tour, and they did two shows here in in New York. I don't know if they went to Germany. Did they go to Germany? I didn't see them there but then again i'm not really following them i just know them they did the song war right yeah yeah it's the one i know how do you know that song just out of curiosity it um seems like one sorry no it seems like a popular song that i've heard yeah i think it was in a trailer for a video game and then it was also obviously in dexter new blood right so yeah that's was. like the hit, you know, and that's uh, how most people would discover them. True, true. Yeah, it was in Dexter New Blood. A lot of good music in that New Blood show, I noticed. I noticed. Yeah, Iggy Pop. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty great. That was kind of perfect. For sure. Yeah. Um, and my channel is all about music and horror movies. So are you much of a horror movie fan? Amazing. Um. I was when I was younger, actually, and um, I found that my appetite has diminished as I've grown older right. for it. And um, I don't know why, but it's like now I have kids and like seeing anything where kids are like, you know, dying. It's like, I don't know, it kind of freaks me out more than it used to. Right. I don't know. It's just it's just something I noticed. Yeah. Then again, you also got uh, Children of the Corn where the kids are the killers, <laughs> you know. This is true. Yeah, there was um, there's that other movie. There's like a really B grade seventies movie called The Children. Did you ever hear? Of that yeah, I've movie? heard of it, but I don't think I've seen it. I think it's pretty terrible, but yeah, there's like there's a bunch of those movies where the children are actually doing the killing. Right. Yeah. Or the Yaman. What's that? The Yaman or the Exorcist? You know where to get. Possessed. Oh yeah, I mean. Those are so good too. The classics, The Omen. That's that's amazing. What's what's your favorite horror movie that's come um, out? I love the 1988 Blob. That's one I really love. I don't know if I've seen that one. Yeah. And um, my all-time favorite would be Intruder from 1989. It's like a slasher movie that takes place in a grocery store. <laughs> it's pretty cool. interesting. Uh, that's pretty cool. Intruder. All right. Never heard of that. Yeah, it's it's a bit underground, I guess. But uh, yeah. it's awesome regardless. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Um, 
And here's a philosophical type question. If you ruled the world, what would it look like? If I ruled the world? Yes. Um, let's see. Well, as, um, as Divine once said, I would uh, run on the platform of kill everybody now. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, no, you know, it would be a utopian paradise, you know, everyone have enough to eat, um, free healthcare for all. And we would, um, we would all be looking out for each other. You know, education would be paramount, I think, you know, cause there's so much ignorance, which allows you, that's what allows people to, you know, just, just move through life being unaware of other people's, you know, having no empathy for another right. person's experience. Yeah. yeah so Sounds that's perfect yeah. yeah you know everyone would have to speak you know five languages so you could understand each other you know um we're lazy in america you know we just kind of know english and and that's it you know but most other people know at least two or three other languages so i feel that's important too for sure yeah awesome um, yeah. And then there's a more personal one. If you could change one characteristic about yourself, what would you change? Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, man. If I could change one characteristic about myself. That's, wow. Oh, man, I wish I'd prepared for this. <laughs> only one. I only get to change one characteristic. Right. Like the one that just bugs you the most. Like for me personally, for example, um, I'm really forgetful. I mean, I have a notebook, I have a calendar and that sort of stuff. So I try to help it that way. But that's definitely something I'd change if I uh, could just press a button by doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. What would I change? If I could change anything, I would just jump out of bed in the morning and I would run, you know, like five miles. Right. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah. You'll feel motivated the rest of the week. Yeah, exactly. Just do that run and then be good and be good. Awesome. Um, yeah. And then last question. If your life was a movie, how would you want it to end? I don't want it to end. Um, you know, with a dance music sequence, like a, awesome. a 20, 25 minute crazy sequence filled with, um, you know, giant water fountains and water slides and um, trampolines and people jumping and singing. Um, yeah, I, I would have to get um, probably, you know, Madonna would be involved, um, Diana Ross, Debbie Harry, um, and, they, and they'd all be singing together. Right. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Is there uh, anything you would like to add to the interview? Um, just thanks. And um, can't wait to be back over there. You know, Awesome. Yeah. Can't wait to see you guys. We love it. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll see you soon. For sure. Awesome. And uh, to everybody watching, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. See ya. See ya.